Oh, oh. Oh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I've been having the craziest dream. I was dreaming about this one meal that I was... I don't know. I've been having this certain food on my mind for so long. And, uh, well, I want to show you what it is. Because I'm going to go after the stuff and make it. Okay. Now listen here. We talked about... I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fix up one of my favorite things to eat. And that's what the title is about. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it is that I like to eat. And it's, uh, the reason I like it, it's healthy for you. It don't require a lot of cooking, which I don't mind doing sometimes. But I just want to show you something easier. And I've done this before, well, kind of. But I'll get right back to you. What you gonna do? You want a big old bowl like this, cause we gotta get things looking good. I like to rinse it out a little bit, cause you know, that's the way I always done my stuff. I like to rinse stuff. I like to rinse it. It'd be a lot better if this was clear. Now, I'm, I'm gonna get me a clear bowl someday. Oh, honestly, I am. I don't know why they put that in the floor. <laughs> the nuts. It's just water, folks. Let me shut this off. So what we gonna do? Now we're not gonna need all this cucumber. So what I'm probably gonna do, and I'm gonna chop that right in half. You know what? I got that. I'm gonna need a knife. Knife for girls. A man don't need a knife. Okay. Come on. Come on. There you go. So what I'm gonna do is, Get out of the And I'm just going to cut this. Now, I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I don't know all them, fa them fancy ass chopping he does. He's got a lot of fanciness to him. Kind of fancy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these down a little more. All right. Now that's what we're looking for. Is this right here, chopped up, um, chopped up cucumber here. But that's not all we're looking for, so we're gonna come right back, okay? All right. Next, you wanna get these terry tomatoes here. We're gonna rinse these out very well, and then we're gonna just slice them once and put them in. So let me work these real quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these in half. Get that, get out of here, you piece of shit. I didn't ask for you. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to slice these right down the center, and then we're going to put these into the bowl. Each one is going to get sliced right in the center. And that's what we're going to do. And I'll come back so this ain't so boring. Well, let's take a look. We got the tomatoes, and so far we got tomatoes. We got cucumbers in here. Look at the beauty of that. We're not done yet. Don't get excited yet. We're not done. 
So hang on, hang on to your britches. One of the ingredients that we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using chopped olive, olives, olives, black olives. These are chopped black olives, and we're gonna guide or use them. Sorry, Mom. That's what they look like. So all we are gonna do is we're just gonna dump all this in here like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's what I love right there. That is beautiful stuff. We'll come back. Another thing I like to use is some home corn by Libby's. Libby's is a lot cheaper than, uh, I can't think of the other one. It was, this one's 98 cents can. Not bad. i tell you what I like. You might think I'm crazy, but I like the juice off this corn. Mmm. Mmm. I love this corn. Sweet corn. What well, corn don't grow. <laughs> I love it. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get up here. Because we're going to dump some of this in here. This is optional. You don't have to use corn. I don't normally do. But I just wanted to use it just a little bit. Not too much. Like that. And we'll come back. I'll tell you another thing that I like. This is some large black olives. I love the juice off this. Mm. I love that juice. I don't know why, I just love it. Mm. One of my favorite juices. Well, it's not my favorite, but it's one of my. Mm. So what I'm going to do, after getting all that dish drained off there, I'm going to come over here, sprinkle a little bit in there, not a whole lot, not that, no, not that, that's good. Another thing that I want to use, I'm going to use this tuna, just dump it all in. This is right here, the main ingredient right here that I'm going to put in it. It's the one I've been waiting for the last. I did open. My mom picked it, did. I can't get it open. That's a cow proof. Come on. that help. There we go. Not bad. Mm. That looks so good. Almost forgot we gotta put some cheese in there because it ain't gonna it'd be good without it, but it's better with it. Now all you gotta do is sprinkle it in there, like that. Not a whole lot, but enough. And then we're gonna put mayo, light mayo, because you don't want the heavy duty one, you want the one that's low fat. And like, 
a lot. And then what we're gonna do, take our spoon here, and this we're gonna dig it just, well, you can't see it from over there. Hmm. Hmm. Get over here and look while I'm staring at this. So all you do is just go around and mix all your little goodies up. All your little concoction. Now that's going to be the best salad you ever had. I promise you that. That's going to be delicious. It's one of my favorites. I love this. Should have had some sunflower seeds and some uh, pumpkin seeds and stuff. I forgot to get that. That's another thing that goes good with this. It just gives it that extra little crunch taste. Because we all like a little bit of a crunch taste. This one a little bit more. It just would look a little weak. Anyway, let me get this pan stared up and we'll come back. Uh, take a look at that beauty. That's the best. Best that you can get. Oh my God. Let me get a drink. I am thirsty as I. Alright, here we go. What I call one of the best seafood salads. That was delicious. I'm we'll gonna take one more, two more bites. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you, this is good. I'll try it. Mmm. Mm. 
That's good. Mm. 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 Mm.